Let's roll. There's a level of fanciness that goes way beyond anything I want to make, but there's something about stuffing chicken quickly and easily that I, I seem to like. We did it about a year ago on The Minimalist with some thighs. Lump. Beautiful. Delicious. Chicken thighs. And now I figured out a way to do chicken breast, just kind of made into a sandwich around the greens, tied up and baked, so that when you slice across it, it makes a very pretty presentation. The idea is to finish, well not finish, be ready to start cooking with something that looks like this, which is two chicken breasts stuffed with greens and tied together. And here's how we get there. These are a couple of big babies. They look like they've been hanging out with uh, old Jose Canseco. And you flatten them, but not, not a lot. So if they're, I don't know, almost an inch thick when you start, you want them about a half an inch thick when you're done, but you don't want to really that's pretty good. So we cooked up some uh, spinach, raisins, pine nuts, some garlic, and salt, and just cooked until the spinach wilts. It's really good with chard also, any green really. And then in the winter time, dried fruit cooked with nuts, or uh, grains for that matter would be good in here. The breadcrumbs are just here to give it a little crunch and a little st stiffen it up a little bit. You don't want to overstuff, which is the most common mistake in any stuffing is overstuffing because it's going to fall out. If you can discern where the tapered end is and where the fat end is of each chicken, flop them so thick is with thin um, so that it'll cook a little bit more evenly. Butcher's twine is called butcher's twine for a good reason. It has a lot of, it has grip. It's very easy to handle. It's cheap. You can buy it anywhere or used to be able to buy it anywhere. And because they don't make twist ties long enough, and because if you use lengths of plastic, they tend to melt. And coat hangers are too hard to deal with. Duct tape imparts a very bad flavor to the chicken. And actually, duct tape doesn't stick that well to chicken. What else might we use? Super glue, which is not a sponsor of this show, um, would probably work very well. As you probably know, they do use super glue too. Um, in place of staples in some surgeries these days. But maybe we don't want to go there on this family cooking show. Some olive oil. And we're not going to really try to brown these. We're just going to turn them in the olive oil and then roast them in the oven. But not even that high heat. Just keep them nice and white. Got it going here. I'm just going to take it over the oven. And it'll be in there for a good 20 minutes, maybe even 30. 350 degrees, obviously you want an oven-proof pan. Forget about it for a while. So these are beautiful, nicely browned, and um, still quite juicy, very firm. Um, we're gonna do a little reduction in the pan of these beautiful juices with some, a mixture of balsamic vinegar and um, water. And while that's bubbling away, these guys are just gonna rest. This is also a very effective way of cleaning your pans. I think that's how reduction sauces were invented. High heat, as many bubbles as you can have. You can even get higher heat. And um, you want this to reduce until it's pretty syrupy. Nice, nice enough. Don't forget to eat the string because, after all, that's why it's there. You can see that if you were roasting some chicken breasts and putting them next to a pile of spinach cooked with pine nuts, you'd be in pretty good shape. But this is quite attractive, I have to say. And good. All right. That's some very nice color here. There you have it. Chicken breast stuffed with greens, the easy way.
like the thighs we did before, a little leaner, a little lighter, stuffing but not stuffy. Mm -hmm.